Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf Bat here in the Tour Van at Minnetonka, joined by Mr. Kevin Kraft, a master club fitter for us at Second Swing in the Columbia store. Today we're in the Twin Cities. Um, actually, we gotta say, the weather for your trip here is, is sublime. I mean, Look, we're, we're talking hot, potential record highs today. Golf courses are still open in the middle of November in Minnesota, which never happens. Crazy. So, uh, we're gonna credit Kevin for that in his trip here. Definitely so, my fault. Yeah. Um, Today we've got a fun discussion on iron shaft flex and the test we're gonna run is, so Kevin's got, we've got some shafts here, Alta CB iron shafts, and we're gonna test three different flexes all together on TrackMan. And so kind of just to give viewers a, um, an indication of what shaft flex impact can be mm -hmm. on irons. And um, you know, again, the weights and stuff, there might be a tad differences yeah. here or there, but same model of shaft, same club head, flex is gonna be the biggest differentiator. Correct. So Kevin, as the fitter, kind of give us your breakdown on, on what your perspective is on shaft flex in irons. So there's general ranges that we yeah. typically look at, right? So anything that's, um, you know, 90 and up tends to be, we tend to think about maybe X flex, yep. uh, 80 to 90 and stiff. Um, 70 to 80 is regular. Anything under 70 would be a uh, senior shaft. Mm -hmm. uh, ladies actually under under 60. Yeah. So uh, those are general general ideas of where we where we would potentially go. Uh, if I look at my own game, I swing 85, 86, 87, sometimes even 88, 89. Yeah. Uh, that doesn't quite fit into that that range for X flex, but I play an X flex shaft because I like the way it feels. Mm -hmm. um, it feels kind of not responsive. I don't really like the feel of anything in, uh, in, in the iron. iron swing. Whereas in the woods, I like the feel of absolutely everything. So my own bag as I've fit myself is very different from what I would typically see, you know, somebody's bag be. Oftentimes we go stiffer in woods than we do in irons. I go the opposite direction, but that's uh, the way it feels yeah. and, the way, and the way it works for and me. I, so. I guess that's the, the that's, a, that's kind of a way to tee up the message that we always send in these videos is that it, at the end of the day, it's all player dependent. It's yes. what you feel, what works for you and your swing. Yep. And the generalities that we give will work for most golfers, but that doesn't mean it will work for you necessarily. So um, always getting fit is going to be the, the best way to know for sure what works for you. So, yeah. um, but today on, on shaft flex now, so right now you've got the, I guess, senior flex Alta CB yep. graphite shaft in an yep. I-230 head. A bit of a different combination, probably not one that our, our team has built very, very much. Um, yeah, in the 230, it's a little bit different, though. There are good players that have gotten older and yeah, slowed down, very right? True. So it's it's not a certainly not an unheard of combination. A um, little bit different. This is, you know, uh, my favorite of, of the ping irons that are out right yeah. now. So I absolutely, I really like this this golf club. Um, and since we do have the the, the right shaft, same shaft for yeah. each one in the in the different flexes, we're gonna we're gonna go with this guy today. Yeah, and I yeah. think one of the uh, uh, there, obviously the performance is gonna matter, and we're gonna yeah. discuss that. But I, I think also it's important to get your feedback on feel because, yeah. as you mentioned, feel can be so player dependent as well. Some Absolutely. players some players don't you know care what it feels like when they're swinging as long as the ball goes a certain way. And yeah. you're a little different. You like to feel a certain thing when you're swinging. So yep. um, we'll talk about the feel and how that changes between each shaft flex as well. Sure. But so we'll start with the uh, senior flex here. We'll get a few good swings with each. Then uh, as we go to, we'll get your feedback on on how each one feels and if there is di big differences or not. So. Do you have any hypotheses here, Kevin, on, on maybe the performance of the different shaft flexes here or not really? I do. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Would you like me to talk about it? I, I would, yeah. <laughs> I mean, or you could keep them to yourself so, and then claim you're right at the end. When, okay, well, know. my expectation is that we may see things move more toward the center the stiffer we get. Okay. Okay. Um, typically, if, we, if somebody's overpowering a shaft, that tendency is gonna to be to hang the ball out to the right for a right-handed golfer. Um, it seems kind of opposite, but for a lot of people, something that's too stiff, tendency is gonna to be to pull it a little bit. So okay. uh, my expectation is if we're seeing this ball, like I, I hit that one pretty good, yeah. um, and 
path and face are pretty good. I think there's maybe just a little more. <laughs> a little more flex than you're used to. A little more of to. that. Oh, yeah. yeah, for sure. So that club for is sure. lagging behind yeah. a little bit. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. You know, the other thing, too, is I know I know you well enough where typically you're playing a bit of a draw. Yeah. Yeah. Not seeing much draw here. So. No, not seeing much draw here. There's a little bit of a draw. There's a little there bit. There it showed up. So it's clearly difficult for you to kind of get that face back to square. Yeah, it's not. It feels a little droopy. Okay. Like, like there's a lot of deflection and it definitely feels like I'm getting towards impact and the club head's still back here somewhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. So we got five good ones up there. Yeah. There's our uh, dispersion map really quick, and you kind of notice, um, actually, there, it's funny, there's two golf balls here. <laughs> uh, but you notice, as you pointed out and kind of predicted right away, none of them are left of center. They're yeah. all right of, of center. Yeah. And I, we got one kind of comfortably over here. We got a couple that did draw back a little bit, but still right. And so yeah. um, kind of your, we talked about your feel a little bit. Basically, you feel like you're, when you're almost at impact, you feel like the club head is still way behind where yeah, it should it, be, it where, feels... where it is for you most of the time. Yeah, it feels like it's it's trailing behind. And what I like the feel of is that the there's no real flex in my irons. Yeah. And and I'm wherever my hands are is where the club head is. Yeah. So now for a player of us maybe slower swing speed or, mm -hmm. or swing tempo that matches this, they might that might feel a little bit like what you're describing. Correct. You know, yes, where the, the club head matches up perfectly. You know, we definitely don't want to have the feeling of, okay, my hands are right here and the club head's back behind my head. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, that's, that's, yeah. <laughs> it's be hard to time things up. Right. And that's what I kind of experienced with this was, you know, getting that the timing of things was, was a little more challenging just based on the, the flex of the shaft. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, we have the numbers up here. We kind of have, you know, it's a pretty high launch, mm -hmm. steep landing angle there. You know, pretty good. I mean, pretty consistent all around for you. Yeah, right? I mean, it's it's, so, it's certainly not bad. And granted, you hit the ball we, well. And we can you see can, it can work, yeah. right? The problem is through time. Yeah. How is that going to work? Yeah. Well, then I mean, we should also know you have. I know how well you hit the ball. You're very consistent. And this one, I know would would be a, a problem for you. That one, that one, that one would bother me. That shot on the far right, yeah. and even these two, depending on how precise you're trying to get with you with a seven iron. You sure. Know. Yeah. So they're good shots, but they're, we're talking about probably 10 to 12 yards off the target. Yeah. We're talking about 30 to 40 feet then yeah. away. Is that going to be a problem so, on a golf shot? So. You know, uh, I guess it sort of depends on the, on, on where that pin's tucked. But, right. Right. Um, for me, I'm usually pretty happy if you give me something in the 15, 18 foot range with a seven iron. Yeah. Right. Uh, those other ones, maybe not quite so good. Yeah. Right. Um, all right, so now we're going to go to the regular flex here, Alta okay. CB. Definitely has a little more, a little more to it. Yeah. I, I'm expecting some better things with this. Yeah. Ah, it was a little thin. Little bit thin, he says. Little bit thin, unlike me. <laughs> that was also a little bit thin. It'll certainly better though. Okay. Yeah. I have to cough. <coughs> Keep that in. <laughs> that was more better. Oh, that's that's great. Ah, skinny today. Just wish I was when I looked in the mirror. <laughs> You are hitting a shaft that is absolutely not fit to you. So. Well, that's true. Give me a couple more here. Hitting a lot of similar golf shots here. Yeah, similar is better when you're doing these things. Yep. Okay. <laughs> well, those are okay. I you know we had a couple that were thin there. Yeah. Because this one. 
this one, and then we want to remove. Yeah, this probably one. that one was the other was the other not so good one. So we get our kind of our best swings there. Yep. With the regular flex. Good dispersion. Um, so we saw things straighten out a little bit here. Yeah. Now, when yeah. you when you didn't hit the ball a little bit thin on a couple of times, there was a uh, thin shot. But yeah. other than that, yeah. Yeah, you're right in that the ball did kind of maneuver its way back. Yeah. Talk about the feel now of hitting the regular flex versus the senior flex. More stable. Yeah. Okay, stable is a really important term to me, uh, especially when dealing with, with shafts. Uh, you, I want it to feel like I know where things are. Yeah. And I had much greater awareness of where the head was yeah. in the in the course of the swing with this one than I did with the senior flex, yeah. for sure. Um, you know, weight on this is a little bit light for me, but still feels pretty well balanced and, and pretty good. So uh, this one was, was much closer to what I would, what yeah. I would actually play. Right, right. And yeah. so I think we're starting to see that trend that you mentioned emerge where, you know, there's if most golf swings have a quick enough transition and and uh, I guess sequence to it where the that you mentioned the more flexible the shaft yeah. the farther right or and yep. maybe short the ball will miss yeah. with more spin and kind of that weak yep. to the right that you had a couple times and as you get stiffer it'll be a yeah. little bit lower launching and and maybe more of a pull or more left on your dispersion. Mass. What do we have for spin numbers? What do you expect before I bring it up? Uh, slightly less. Yeah. Um, height, probably just a tiny bit less. So we had oh, actually got more. We had lower spin though. Okay. Um, so it's it's pretty comparable actually the launch mm. on on both of them. Now yeah. I think part of that could be you were hitting the ball maybe a little bit more efficiently with the regular flex, getting the ball a little bit more in the air. Yeah. Um, you know if we were to include a couple, a one or two of these kind of thin ones that we removed. Yeah. Um, you know that would obviously bring things down a little bit. Sure. Um, back back closer to the average height of the senior flex, but gotcha. nonetheless, um, yeah, pretty, lower pretty spin, similar. which is okay. what you expected. Yeah, so yeah. senior flex now, let's, uh, Stiff flex. let's build that one. Steve. Or, Steve. Stiff flex now, let's build Steve. that one. Yes. This already feels better to me. Yeah, I, I'm sure. Like yeah. it just feels, it just feels more. Mm. Yeah. Let it rip. Okay. I mean, that's, I think, exactly what I just described. <laughs> Maybe I should have you come to tournaments with me and just, as I'm standing over it, you just say, hi, draw, and it ends up five yeah. hours. I saw there was a, uh, I, saw the, I, saw the, I saw the viral video of Cam Young. You know, he's got that little pause at the top. Uh -huh. and so he was doing, he was hitting on the range, and at the top during the pause, someone would say a shot type for him uh -huh. to hit. So he's get up there, hi, fade, and follow through, and huh. he would hit it. It's, that so, would... That would be crazy to pull. I always just think they're thinking about pizza. Like Hideki gets up there and he's like, he gets to the top and he's like, you know, I think I really want pepperoni, mushrooms, and banana peppers yeah. tonight. And then he swings. Like that's, <laughs> you know, that could that's one theory. It's a lot to think about. It's all that, pizza related. Half a second. Yeah, that's honestly closer to what I'm probably thinking during a swing than what they are. <laughs> A little skinny, but not atrocious. Okay. Still that kind of draw that yeah. is showing yeah. up. Also a little skinny, but not atrocious. I mean, the ball's ending up in the same, on the same line every time. Yeah, that's, that's a good thing. That's kind of what we want. That one's going to hang a little bit. That was more golfer than it was anything else. You see, the funny thing about that is that's the one you thought would quote unquote hang. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hold on. It's it's a little bit right of center. Right but, of target. But, I mean, it's basically the same as these other regular yeah. shots ones. So, yeah. You know. You just basically showed me that I need to hit a couple more solid shots here. Oy. No, I know. You, you, you hit a couple thin. If we yeah. took them out for the regular flex, we can do it for this one too. Look at that little hanger. There's one that hung out there. Yeah. It didn't feel like it, but whatever. Oh, I just really have not ripped one with this thing yet. It feels so much better to me, though. Oh, that was terrible. 
One-handed follow-through. Yes. On a nice little, little, little high draw. You know, terrible. That one was smashed. Pull. All right. Okay. Let's see here. Anything 130 on take out. Yeah, that's that's 130129. Yeah. yeah. Uh, boy, that's really a terrible representation of what I thought this golf club would do. That is a that is on me. That is Really? This one definitely falls on me. I was the swinger was not very good on this one. So get you know the four kind of best shots with each. Yeah. Um we got the you know, the senior flex, farthest right. Yep. Stiff flex out of there on the left. Yep. Which I mean, is what ways, I expected kind of what would expected. happen. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Um, talk about the feel of this one now. So we've kind of made that transition. Yeah, th I mean, this definitely felt the best to me just because I didn't swing it very well. It didn't mean it didn't feel the best. Right. Um, yeah, the human element on this is, is challenging, right? right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, through. it is what it is. We but make we, good swings, we make bad swings. But I think, it, I think the, the, the trend that you predicted that showed up is, I think, yeah. the most important one, though. Yeah. I mean, I think yeah. there's... Because, like, we didn't say the numbers, carry distance, ball right. speed, that stuff right. would be that different here. Right. Um, but sure. it's about, you know, a little bit more control and predictability with yeah. the certain flexes. I definitely doing. struck the regular a little better. Yeah, you did. Uh, really, if you look at stiff versus the senior, they were struck the same way and they went the same distance. Yeah. But we definitely saw a big change in terms of where yes. that golf ball was yeah. was and it going. And it has to do with the physics of yeah. the flexibility of the shaft. Definitely. Closing the the club face yeah. as you make your downswing. So. Now that's not to say that I get so you get somebody in that's you know hooking the ball that I'm going to put them in a senior shaft to help them keep the ball out to the well, right. Well, and depending on their but, tempo, they might actually, they could make it worse for them. Oh, I mean, yeah, if they're a slow tempo, 100%. they have a slow transition. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, they, at the top of the swing, everything catches up. <laughs> yeah. And they have a, I mean, that could yeah. be really um, not good. So yeah. there's, shaft flex, it, it matters in the sense that. It does. It, we, today, we saw some very tangible differences yeah. in, the, in the performance. Um, but I think ultimately it, it, it comes down to getting fit. Making yeah, sure that you does. know exactly what you play, and want to sure have something great. that feels right, and then produces the the dispersion that you're right, looking for. Right, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah, I mean, go get that fitting, schedule that fitting at second swing. Let one of our experts like Kevin make sure that the shaft flex that you're playing it matches exactly what is best for your swing. So, thanks for the the shots and the information, Kevin. Anytime. <laughs>